From glory to grief, major deaths that sent shockwaves through Hollywood. Hollywood, the city of dreams, has seen its fair share of triumphs and heartbreaks. Today, we're paying tribute to the luminaries who graced the silver screen, leaving an indelible mark on the industry. These major deaths not only sent shockwaves through Hollywood but also forever altered the landscape of fame. In Hollywood, where glitz and glamour often take center stage, the shocking reality of major deaths is an inevitable part of the narrative. We're peeling back the layers to explore the moments when the industry and fans alike were left in disbelief. On August 25, 2001, Aaliyah Dana Houghton, or Aaliyah, died in a plane crash. The R&B artist died on impact after being thrown 20 feet from the body of the plane, which crashed shortly after takeoff in the Bahamas. According to BBC on that day, six passengers on board the plane, including Aaliyah, passed away instantly when it crashed. Meanwhile, three more passengers died shortly after being treated for their injuries. That night, Aaliyah was on her way back to the United States after finishing filming her music video in the Abaco Islands, around 270 kilometers from Florida. The crash happened only meters from Marsh Harbor Airport. Aaliyah, who was at the peak of her career as a world pop star, died in a plane crash that night. Days before her death, Aaliyah was finishing her upcoming music video in Miami, Florida, and flew to the Abaco Islands with the production crew to film the underwater parts. After filming was over, Aaliyah and the production crew flew back to Florida in a Cessna, a private plane. Due to the investigation, the plane crash was caused by engine failure during takeoff, and the pilot, Luis Morales III, did not appear to have a pilot's license. Aaliyah was buried six days after her death at St. Mary's Church, Ignatius Loyola, Manhattan. Natalie Wood, the star of Rebel Without a Cause, died on November 29, 1981, at age 43. Her body was found floating in a little bay on Catalina Island, California. However, suspicions did arise. Because Natalie is known to be frightened of water, and she cannot travel to the bay alone. Wood also fought with her husband, Robert Wagner, before her death. Wagner apparently suspected Natalie of having an affair with actor Christopher Walken. In November 2011, the Los Angeles police revived Natalie's case. However, investigators confirmed that Wagner and Walken were not among the suspects. What are your thoughts? Who is the suspect? It has been 15 years, but Michael Jackson's death remains a mystery. Michael was found dead in his rented house near Beverly Hills. Michael died of a profanol overdose and a heart attack at the age of 50. Lawyers for Michael's family confirmed that police had found the drug in question and were investigating its connection to Michael's death. They were looking for drug bottles and syringes. I don't know if they found syringes but I'm sure they found a lot of drug bottles, said Brian Oxman, attorney for Michael's family. Jackson's death shocked the public because he was at the peak of his career at that time. It's not surprising that many fans don't believe the news. However, many believe that Michael faked his death to avoid the public spotlight and live as an ordinary person. What about you? Did you believe he's still alive? Lisa Nicole Lopez, better known by her stage name Left Eye, was an American rapper and singer. She was a member of the R&B girl group TLC. Besides rapping and singing backing vocals on TLC recordings, Lopez was the creative force behind the group, receiving more co-writing credits than the other members. Lisa Lopez passed away on April 25, 2002, in a car accident in La Ceiba, Honduras. Lisa was 30 years old and at the peak of her career, having sold more than 21 million albums worldwide. Lisa died in a car accident while driving with her younger brother and sister, two music producers, and three members of R&B band Egypt. They were driving a rental car and were on their way home to their apartment, which was only a few kilometers away. Lisa suddenly lost control and rolled to the left. Lisa, who was not wearing a seatbelt at the time, 
was flung from the car's seat and died immediately as a result of serious head injuries. Further, the moments of the disaster were filmed on video and extensively shared on the internet. Brandon Lee is the son of legendary actor Bruce Lee. Brandon died after being shot on sight in 1993. Brandon Lee peaked in popularity in the early 1990s with a role as Eric Draven in the dark fantasy thriller The Crow, 1993. Who could have predicted that the film would also take his life? Brandon was killed by a gunshot while filming The Crow. Brandon died with a prop gun that should never have been loaded with real bullets. It turned out that the property gun was loaded with bullets, which were shot into the 28-year-old star's body during a scene. Lee died that night from a gunshot wound after being treated in the hospital. On November 30, 2013, the world grieved Paul Walker's passing. Paul William Walker IV is an American actor. He is most recognized for his role as Brian O'Connor in Fast and Furious. Paul and Roger Rodas were just at the Reach Out Worldwide charity event. The two were riding in a 2005 Porsche Carrera GT when the accident occurred. The red Porsche sped out of control, hitting a power pole and a tree before exploding quickly near Santa Clarita, north of Los Angeles, killing Paul and Roger. According to USA Today, an investigation led by the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department and the California Highway Patrol in March 2014 concluded that the crash was caused by unsafe car speed rather than technical issues. Paul's death grabbed the attention of the public, who were grieving the loss of one of Hollywood's best actors. That time Paul was busy filming Fast and Furious 7, which was released in 2015. Princess Diana died in a car accident on August 31, 1997. Even though she is no longer Prince Charles's wife, Princess Diana remains a popular figure. At the time, the car he was riding in had been wrecked after hitting with a road pillar. The driver caused the accident to avoid the paparazzi who were following them. The accident killed three people, Dotty Al Fay, Diana's lover, and the driver. Meanwhile, the princess died two hours later due to the horrific injuries she sustained. Princess Diana left behind two children, Prince William and Prince Harry. Princess Diana was spotted with Prince William and Prince Harry on the French Riviera in Saint-Tropez, France, six weeks before her death. William and Harry also spoke with their mother before her death. They spoke briefly with Diana over the phone. Who does not know Marilyn Monroe? This 1950s star was found dead naked at her house in Brentwood, Los Angeles, California. Marilyn died on August 5, 1962, at the age of 36. According to the investigation, Marilyn died of an overdose of sleeping pills and is suspected of suicide. Some people believe that Marilyn did not commit suicide because there was a lot of foul play at the crime scene, including the loss of several items that could have been used as evidence. John and Robert Kennedy have also been implicated in Monroe's murder, and some have suggested the involvement of the CIA and the Mafia. Tupac Amaru Shakur, also known by his stage names Tupac and Machiavelli, was an American rapper. He is widely considered one of the greatest and most influential rappers of all time. Tupac died tragically on September 13, 1996, after watching Bruce vs. Mike Tyson. Tupac Shakur rides in Knight's car during a procession around the streets of Las Vegas, Nevada, United States. When the car came to a stop at a red light, Tupac Shakur went up up to greet the woman through the sunroof. Suddenly, a car came nearby and fired shots at Tupac Shakur. The bullets pierced Tupac Shocker's left chest, arm, and thigh. Tupac Shocker's passed away at the age of 25. News broke that Tupac wasn't actually dead. There was only one reason why he faked his death. Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department has arrested a suspect in the shooting death of Tupac Shakur. According to a report by the Associated Press, the arrested suspect's name is Dwayne Kef D. Davis. Dwayne Kef D. Davis was at the scene of the shooting. 
He was sitting in a Cadillac parked right next to Tupac's car at a red light. Kobe Bean Bryant was an American professional basketball player. A shooting guard, he spent his entire 20-year career with the Los Angeles Lakers in the National Basketball. At this point, Kobe Bryant was headed to Mamba Sports Academy training camp. He attended a coaching clinic and was scheduled to accompany his daughter to a Mamba Cup tournament. Kobe Bryant took off from Orange Airport in Los Angeles in a Sikorsky S-76B helicopter flown by pilot Era Zobayan. The plane took off at 9.06 a.m. local time, according to Flightradar24.com. The helicopter flew from the south side of Los Angeles to the north side. Bryant will coach a youth basketball team in Thousands Oaks, California at 12.00. Meanwhile, his daughter Gianna and colleagues Alyssa Altobelli and Peyton Chester, who were also on the plane, will also be playing on the team. Meanwhile, Los Angeles Police Department officer Alex Villanueva said 911 first received information about the accident at 9.47 a.m. Kobe Bryant's helicopter was then found on fire in the Calabasas Hills of Los Angeles, California. Nine people died in this incident. Remember, these legends may be gone, but their impact lives on in the films we cherish, the memories we hold dear, and the inspiration they've left behind. Let's continue to celebrate their contributions and ensure their stories remain eternally etched in our hearts. And don't forget to hit that like button and share your thoughts in the comments below.